Hello everybody, I'm Wild, woo, 620. And in this video I'm on my channel, as you can see, I'm doing another tutorial on how to do a Google Hangouts live stream. I want to do this for anybody out there that wants to do a live stream on Easter, which I know one of my friends on Animal Jam does, uh, and they didn't know how to, they couldn't get OBS to work. And OBS is a very tricky software to get to work, it, take, it took me a very long time to actually be able to sort out OBS and actually live stream on here. And I used to use Google Hangouts, and Google Hangouts is still a very solid live streaming option, because... Take it from me. People didn't care about my mic. They didn't care about the quality. They were just there to have fun. And I never understood why. Like, if you go back and watch my very first live stream, I don't know why anybody came to that. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to do a Google Hangouts live stream. And if your YouTube doesn't look like this, if it's just white, I have mine set to dark mode, as you can see. Uh, and also, yours might be the old YouTube, like, layout i suppose kind of like when you go to customize channel it might look like this if you're like on a different version of youtube or something but i'm pretty sure most people have it the other way now because it's a new updated version but if you have it like this i'm going to do a little sneak of how to do it on this version as well it's not really that much different okay so first things first if you're new to youtube and you don't know how to get to your channel you just go to the little top icon and hit my channel uh, but I usually just go to my home and hit creator studio if you have this version of YouTube as we talked about instead of hitting creator studio You would just go to video manager But either way it leads you to the same place and once you're on this little page here where it shows your videos and stuff You're gonna want to go to the left to the left to the left I did that in the last one didn't I that, the last tutorial I did anyway You're gonna go to the left and hit live streaming. Uh, this is where I do my live streams as you can see um, but this is for, uh, mainly I use OBS, but if you want to get to the Google Hangouts live stream area, which yeah, of course you do because it's a Google Hangouts tutorial, you're going to want to go to the left again, under the live streaming tab, you want to hit events instead of stream now, that part from the video before is about the same, uh, then you want to go to new live event in the corner over there, and then it'll lead you here. And you're going to want to, where it says type, I have mine set to custom, more encoding options, which is OBS. Or you can do quick, which is using Google Hangouts. And then you just set the time that you want it to be, whatever time zone you're in. And you can enter the title, like, stream fun. And then you can just, you know, hit create event, and then it'll pop up. And you can make it private so no one sees it, which I might do. That way I can set this up. And then if you go to advanced settings, this is where there's more set up possibilities enable live chat enable slow mode that's if you're like you know got a lot of subs and a lot of people are typing in your chat uh category gaming you can set it to anything else that you're streaming at the time you can enter the game title so more people find it animal jam uh there we go oh i did it at 4 a.m not p.m uh at end time 6 30. it just adds a like approximate time for how long you'll be streaming uh, but you can change it. It doesn't matter. Like, you know, it doesn't start itself. If you're wondering this, if you set a time to stream, it doesn't start itself. You still have to hit start streaming, and it actually doesn't end itself at a certain time. So that's really all up to you, even if you do set the time zone. It doesn't just end it for you. Then you just want to hit create events. Then it'll bring you to this screen, and you can hit start hangouts on air. I believe it is private, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going to try to hit start hangouts on air. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hang on. Okay, so now I'm displaying my entire screen to you so I can capture the Google Hangout screen right here. So, it'll say, remember, it's easy to ignore someone by hovering over there. Okay, yeah, no, okay. Don't show me this message again. Turn off camera. Okay, so, now you're wondering. See, there, even though I hit start Hangouts on air, it still didn't start the Hangouts. See, I still have to hit start broadcast, so it's still not live. Just making sure you guys don't go live on accident when you don't want to. Alright, so if you're planning on streaming your webcam or your face, then you can go up here and change it to your webcam that you have right here. But I don't have my webcam plugged in, so it's not coming up. I don't actually use XSplit. I use my Logitech webcam, but it's not plugged in, so it's not going to show up there. Uh, Yeti stereo microphone, you can set it to the microphone, otherwise no one will hear your voice if you don't set it to the right microphone that you're using, like, say you have a headset plugged in, and no one can hear you. It doesn't mean your microphone on your headphones is not working, it just means it's not set up on here to your headphones, like, it's not, like, connected, it'll say, like, your headphones here or something. So if you're having an issue where you have another per- like, you can have other people on here with you, and you can be talking to them at the same time you're streaming, if you're having an issue where you can't hear them or they can't hear you, uh, and the live stream can't hear you either, it's because they're on here, your mic is not set up to your headphones that has the mic in it, or it's just not set up to your mic at all, and on here, your headphones are not set up at all either. Make sure all this is set up properly how you need it to be, because uh, I have several different things that I can set it to, uh, and if I hit this, 
if I unmute my mic, you can see the little things swirling around my head. That means you can hear audio from this, like, person. Uh, and you can also see it in the bottom screen over there in the corner. And, of course, near the start broadcasting thing. Alright, so, now you're probably wondering, how do I screen share Animal Jam? Well, first, you're gonna want to go to the left where this little green button is that says screen share. And you're gonna want to click that. And it'll load up this screen right here. And it'll say entire screen or application window. For me right now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, application window right now is not working. So I just do entire screen and I hit share. And then it does this weird trippy thing where it shows like so many other Google Hangouts tabs open. Uh, and it also pop up this little bar here. You can just hit hide. But then if you minus that, the trippy thing will stop and it'll just be your Animal Jam screen. Um, and then you can just fly around and do whatever and it'll show your screen. And of course you can look on YouTube at the time when your live stream is on and click this if you click the live stream itself it'll bring you here like it's a video and then if you go here at the time that it's live there should be a live chat over here I'm gonna go ahead and hit start broadcast hit ok it says stop broadcast which means you are now live so if I hit present to everyone uh, and then I hit minus and I go here and I fly around a little bit, go to my den, fly around a bit. Then if you go back to the YouTube tab, you can watch it and see how it looks on the screen to other people. And then you'll be live. That's pretty much it. You'll be live. People will be able to watch you. Uh, the live chat will usually be over here, but mine's private, so it's not over there. There might be an issue with uh, Google Hangouts that doesn't let the live chat show up. Uh, if you want to edit your video, you can go down here to edit video and it'll edit your live stream while it's still live. Like, even if you're live right now, it'll still edit it. Enable live chat. If your chat is not showing up, that might be turned off. Maybe try, if it's not showing up and it is ticked, maybe try turning it off and then back on. But sometimes it didn't show up, sometimes it did. It was weird. Now you can see that I am live and I'm doing this big old live stream right here. Uh, that's been lasting a while. And you can just fly around on Animal Jam and do whatever. Whatever you've been wanting to do on a live stream, you can do. Th that's how you live stream on Google Hangouts. And of course, when you want to stop, you just go back there and you hit stop broadcast. And you can also hit stop screen sharing uh, because it kind of makes you lag. Stop broadcast. There we go. Broadcast has been successfully terminated. Thank you. So now, if I go back to YouTube, uh, I will see that it'll say the live stream is over and stuff like that. So to see me hitting stop and hangouts on air, meaning it stopped. And then you'll go back to edit video and the videos tab over here under video manager, you'll go there and then it'll say processing. That doesn't mean your stream has got deleted or anything. It just means it's processing. And then once this is done processing, it'll post to your channel. If you don't want it to, you can just hit this little down arrow here and hit delete. Uh, if you don't want that video to show up, that's what I'm gonna do. And delete. You can also delete videos as well. Uh, if you just hit the little down arrow at the very bottom, it's usually all the way at the bottom. And that, my friends, is how you do a live stream on Google Hangouts. I do plan on making a video on how to do a live stream on OBS in the future. Really don't know how to explain it yet to you guys. I barely know how to do it myself yet, so I'm gonna wait a little while on that one. But I hope this Google Hangouts... Uh, doing a live stream on Google Hangouts thing helps you. If you have any issues whatsoever with live streaming, leave a comment down below. I will try to help you to the best of my abilities through the through typing, because I really can only help if I have hands on or I'm talking to you. So if you have an issue with this and you need help, leave a comment and I will try to help you. Uh, but I think that's it for this video. I am off to go prepare for my live stream later today. Uh, if you want to go see that, or if it's already posted, it might be going up the same time this video is going up, depends on how long it takes me to edit this video. If you want to see my live stream, I will leave it linked in the description if you're watching this video in the future. Anyway, guys, this is going to be this episode of How To with Wildwolf 6 I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys learned a new trick in life. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. I'm Wildwolf 6 and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.